Hello everyone, welcome back to one of Astronaut's famous streams. And I need to clean my glasses, excuse me. Excuse me everyone. Um, so guys, as you can see from the title of this stream, um, I want Mortal Kombat 11 now. I don't want it later. I don't want it in the future. I want it now. And I really, really am about to start tweeting Ed Boon some really um, mean-spirited tweets. I'm very serious. Very serious. Anyway, so guys, y'all know the routine. I start these live streams and we discuss Mortal Kombat 11. And um, what's up, Aizen? Welcome to the stream. You're, I think you're the first person in. Um, yes, so I don't know if you just caught my little rant. I was just going on and on about how I want Mortal Kombat 11 now. Not later, but now. And I don't know what is taking, what's going on with, why it's taking so long. Um, everyone has been talking about we're going to get a trailer at E3, but we haven't heard anything just yet. And somebody actually made the, the comment how we might actually be getting a different game. Like, they might, not, they might not even be planning to do Mortal Kombat 11 right now. They might be getting ready to release another game. Like, maybe a sequel to Shaolin Monks. Or, you know, maybe some other type of game they might be working on. Um, it may not necessarily be Mortal Kombat 11. Although, um, he did say, um, Ed Boon did say at the Brazilian game show last year that he did say, if you can follow our pattern of how we make our games, and you know, you, you have a pretty good idea of uh, what, um, what did he say, Azen? You probably have a pretty good idea of what we're working on right now. So he was talking about the pattern of Mortal Kombat 9, Injustice, Mortal Kombat 10, Injustice 2, and then Mortal Kombat 11 would be the next game in that series of patterns. But... There's been no, there's been no information, no reliable leaks at all. Justin, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. So glad you've made it. I'm so used to you leaving me comments, letting me know that you can't make it or you didn't make it or you're going to try to make it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're just pretty much in here talking about, oh, what's up, Hunter? Welcome to the stream. We're just pretty much in here talking about how we really haven't heard anything of what's going on with Mortal Kombat 11, which we think is really strange. Azen, I'm still waiting for Azen to let me know what the tweet was about. Uh, Azen just told me that Ed Boon tweeted about Mortal Kombat 11 today, and I missed that tweet, so I'm, I'm waiting for him to like post up what he heard. Um, did anybody else hear some sort of tweet from Mortal Kombat 11, I mean from Ed Boon about Mortal Kombat 11? Please let me know. We're up to five visitors in the stream. Welcome to the stream, guys. We are talking about how I want Mortal Kombat now! Now! Anyways, I'm sorry for that outburst. I just, you know, I have to let it out somewhere. If I can't let it out on the stream, where else can I let it out at? Um, so, yes, yeah, so we are discussing the lack of information about Mortal Kombat 11. While we're discussing that, though, um, I want to go ahead and make mention of the fact that I've started a new series about Mortal Kombat 11. It's called Mortal Kombat 11 Next Gen. And this whole entire series that I'm starting on my channel has to do with me focusing on individual characters. Like so far, I've done an episode on Katana, and then I, I did another episode on uh, Fujin. And the whole entire series is totally dedicated to explaining what each character's role may very well be in Mortal Kombat 11. So I definitely had a lot to say about Katana. Um, I shared what uh, Fujin's possible role could be in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, Let's see, when is E3? We'll see at that. Um, E3, oh, yes, welcome to the stream. It's so nice to have people who actually respond when I ask a question. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. <laughs> um, I'm starting at 11, I'm doing a video of a character that I think will be playing a major role in Mortal Kombat 11, so make sure you check out that series. It's Mortal Kombat 11 Next Gen. I've done two videos so far. I did one on Katana, and I did another one on Fujin. I focused on Fujin because everyone loves him so much. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why, but everyone really wants to see Fujin in Mortal Kombat 11, so I did a video and I explained how he could possibly be involved in the storyline. So you might want to check that out, guys. Make sure to check out my new series, Mortal Kombat 11 Next Gen. 
What's up, Benzilla? Benzilla, I know you've seen my new series I, because I, you love to comment for the Fujin video. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, yes. So, guys, uh, E3 is coming up on June um, 12th through the 14th. And still, we have no, we haven't heard any, we haven't had any confirmations from Ed Boon or from Netherrealm or anything about any kind of trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 at E3. So this is really puzzling. Don't know what's going on. Ed Boon said to a fan by retweeting an announcement, does that mean MK11 trailer is on the horizon? Oh, did he retweet that? Ed Boon can... You know, sometimes I really don't appreciate it when he speaks in mysteries and riddles, especially when I really need to hear some information about Mortal Kombat 11. Yes, so, um, so guys, yes, uh, now of course, all the predictions are continuing to come out onto more onto YouTube. Everyone is continuing to rehash the same information over and over. Um, so. You know, I still have yet to come across a, a you know a YouTube video where I feel like they've actually said something uh, that has been relevant. You know, um, but right now I just really feel like um, he might have retweeted it. Okay, that sounds like Ed Boon. That sounds like Ed Boon to really retweet someone talking about Mortal Kombat 11, because you know he himself. It seems like he he himself is trying to avoid. What's up, N1 Scorpion? Welcome to the stream. It seems like Ed Boon is trying to avoid saying anything directly about Mortal Kombat 11 right now. And all he wants to do is just, like, I've seen him shoot down somebody else who mentioned Mortal Kombat 11. And then I, and right now it sounds like he's retweeting somebody else who's, who mentioned Mortal Kombat 11. But, but nothing is directly coming from him. So it's just making it really hard for the gaming community right now for us to figure out what's going on. Um... And for us to just really continue to, uh, you know, to follow Mortal Kombat 11, uh, you know, trying to offer, you know, offer the viewers something fresh, you know, why is he ignoring Mortal Kombat 11? You know, I really don't know. Um, he might be doing it on purpose, just so that he can avoid any kind of leaks or rumors to kind of start on the on the on online. What's up, Garrett Larson? Welcome to the stream. Um, you know, he might be trying to avoid Mortal Kombat 11 so that he can avoid any kind of leaks or rumors to maybe ruin any kind of reveal that they might be but they that they might but that's kind of weird because whenever Netherrealm is about to reveal something they usually try to hype it up i know every time they had a, a trailer for uh for like the um the uh uh the fighter packs any kind any kind of fighter packs that was any kind of trailer fighter packs coming up they always they hype that up you know they really built all that up and leading up to the trailer but if they have a huge trailer coming up for mortal kombat 11 well it's it, well it should be it would be getting revealed frumblefoot welcome to the stream so good to see you again it's it's you know it, it would be right around the corner because 11 the 12th of june is what next week and we still haven't heard anything and there's no hype coming from netherrealm studios and ed boon hasn't re like hasn't tweeted anything directly so this is like really a mystery so i really don't know but um, somebody left a comment on my YouTube page saying that he they really felt that Netherrealm needs to take their time on Mortal Kombat 11. And I agree. I mean, I really wouldn't mind seeing a trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 later on in the year if that meant that they were going to be spending, you know, every bit of time trying to pretty much, you know, dot every I and cross every T and make sure the game is incredibly amazing. You know, hope a trailer comes soon. Yes, Justin, I do agree. Um, so guys, of everyone in the room here, who thinks that we're actually going to get a trailer for Mortal Kombat 11 at E3 on June 12th? Maybe they want to want it to be a huge surprise, possibly. Hey, Ashton, are you going to do a live stream during E3? You know, I could. I could do that. I could do that, Hunter. You know, actually, I, I could actually fly to E3. I'd have to see exactly when. But, you know, I think you have to have passes to get in. I, I think you actually either have to be invited or get passes to get in. I'm sure they're going to show it at E3. Rye Callen, welcome to the stream. It's been a long time, Rye. I'm leaning toward a trailer to E3. Yeah, you know, I really, this is a really tough one to call because I have nothing to go on on this one. You know, um, the only real leak that we've had for Mortal Kombat 11 was the leak that happened back in September. Back in September, they did a leak of everything. I mean, they tried, you know, 
I, I don't think it was legit, but they did this huge leak of revealing the entire character roster. They revealed the uh, um, they revealed all this information about how the dead characters are not coming back. They revealed the storyline. They said that Raiden was going to be the main villain. But after that leak, there hasn't been anything else. Ed Boon hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, he hasn't, Justin. I'm afraid Boon pushed MK for Mortal Kombat for PS5 in 2021. Wow. But see, no, I, I mean, I don't see why he would do that because there's already the Xbox One X. And the Xbox One X is capable of true 4K gaming, so they could easily release Mortal Kombat 11 and have it run at at true 4K on the Xbox four, on the Xbox One X, unless they didn't want to uh, alienate the PlayStation fans, because Mortal Kombat is a title that's not an exclusive to either PlayStation or Xbox. So, but that would be a very long time for them to wait. I mean, that would be that would be really. But that is a really good point, though, because if they were to release it next year, then they would have to um, they would have to have an enhanced version for the Xbox One X, which would leave out the PlayStation. Uh, it would leave out the PlayStation fans. So um, that would be really strange. Although the PS4 Pro is capable of 4K streaming or 4K gaming, but it's not true 4K. It's it's the um, it's uh, it's the artificial. It, it's it's complicated. I don't want to get into it. Anyways, so yes, but that's a very good point. That's a very good point. Um, so, um, yeah. So I hope that we do get a trailer in uh, E3 this year. I really do. Um, and if we don't get a trailer at E3, I am sure that we will get something. Uh, maybe run about the fall of this year. Um, so because you know, Mortal Kombat 11 is going to be a huge game. It's going to definitely be a really big game. And after coming down off of uh, Injustice 2, they're definitely going to have to, they can't just do, they can't just rehash the same thing. I hope the next MK is a beat em up game. Well, you know, and the, the thing about it is, if y'all noticed, um, Injustice 2 was like a copy and paste of Mortal Kombat X. They basically took the same uh, game configuration as far as like, you know, controller configurations. They took the same controller configurations for all the moves, for all the characters, for all, all the way up to the fact that they even had like, you know, the super moves were, were just a cut and paste of the X-rays from Mortal Kombat X. So they did a lot, of cut and pa a lot of cutting and pasting from Mortal Kombat X onto Injustice 2. If you if you picked up Injustice 2, if you had already played Mortal Kombat X, then you could easily just pick up and run with, Mortal, with Injustice 2 because they had like... The super moves were the x-ray moves um you know they they had the combo breaker system the same way they had the um uh uh you know uh, it was you know it was basically the same thing i feel like man you feel like you're going to blow with anticipation hi dagas welcome to the stream anyways back to the point i'm making so you know i'm just hoping that they don't do a cut and paste again like they they cut and paste it from mortal kombat x onto injustice 2 would you rather have supers or x-rays? Um, the graphics are, are going to be insane. That's true. True, astronaut. But that horror fighting game it is is for sure a warning. Possible. Um, I would prefer to have x-rays. Well, they they I think they're going to keep the x-rays in because they had they started the x-rays in Mortal Kombat 9. They kept them in Mortal Kombat 10, and I think they're going to keep them back in Mortal Kombat 11 for sure. Um, but yeah, so they did do some cutting and pasting from Mortal Kombat 10 onto into Injustice 2. So uh, yeah, supers are X-rays. <laughs> the game will have war in the title. Check it. It's got a lot of cryptic tweets. Um, welcome, Craig Michaels. Welcome to. Well, Craig Michaels, that's a very good point because. Um, when Katana was talking to uh, uh, Bo Raicho in one of one of their intros, he told her he was like, you know, your decision could mean war. So there's a clue right there. I said in my Katana, if y'all guys make sure you check out my Mortal Kombat 11 next gen series of videos. Maybe a brutal X-ray, cause damn X are almost a fate. They that's very true. They they actually are a fatality. They just the character just doesn't die at that point. Supers are more cinematic. Well, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So, well, in, at, in in Injustice 2, they made them more cinematic. That's true. They were definitely more cin cinematic. What's up, baby? Image IR. Welcome to the stream. Um, 
Anyways, so I think I was talking about three things all at once. But yeah, so there was a lot of cutting and pasting from X, Mortal Kombat X into Injustice 2. So if in for so if Injustice 2, I'm sorry, dude, MKX Super Artist right, plus Super is for the DC characters. So if um so if they're taking extra time to come up with maybe a new system, to maybe come up with new game mechanics, to come up with new uh, new uh, uh, you know joystick configurations for the characters, then I definitely invite them to do that. Take all the time that they need. Just imagine the graphics are coming. Justin is really hyped about the graphics right now. I want Noob Saibot to come back. Chocolate is really being very random and, and randomly talking about in Noob Saibot for some reason. Um, Frumblefoot really wants Noob to come back as well. I'm sorry, I'm just announcing what's going on in the in the chat box. What if MK11 has three traits instead of variations? Three traits instead of variations. I'm confused on what that means. Um, Chocolate is lolling at the moment. Who is your least favorite ninja? Um, probably Chocolate Rules. <laughs> Why does everyone like chocolate? First, um, what should I call it? Like, who, what, who, who was it? What's, who was the girl who always likes to hook up with chocolate in the stream? I forgot her name. Oh, I can't remember. She wants. She always wants to hook up with chocolate. Oh yeah, Paulette. Paulette wants to hook up with chocolate. Now, like, was it who was it? Hunter. Hunter thinks chocolate is cool. What is the deal with chocolate? Why does everyone want to either hook up with him or be his best friend? I don't get it. Um, let's see. Uh, what new characters y'all think? Oh, my least favorite. My least favorite ninja would probably have to be. Um, uh, probably. Uh, um. Um, I really don't care for Ermac all that much, but don't let that get out because that would piss off a lot of people. How are you doing? You forget Paulette. <laughs> the reveal needs to happen like yesterday. Ragaroth, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Oh, crap. The MK level will be an amazing game. Can and oh. Can't handle my realness. Antoine is back. Welcome, Antoine. Jelani, they need to bring back Shao Kahn. I see one new leak about the new characters, but maybe that was fake. And one scorpion. Chocolate, LOL at Hunter. So, yes. Anyways, um, when should we expect a reveal? Baby image IR. Well, baby, we have been trying to... We Everyone's been trying to hype up the whole E3... E3 is happening June 12th this month, next week. Bring back Creative Fighter. Chocolate want to be BFF. <laughs> Degas is trying to. Degas is looking for for a BFF. It's gonna suck if at E3 nothing is there for MK. Somebody was mentioning in one of my streams, I think, that they were saying that they didn't see Nether Room on the list for E3. So guys, maybe that's a good homework assignment for you guys. We're we're up to 17 viewers everyone welcome to the stream guys that's a good homework assignment for everyone in the stream right now when this stream ends or wherever you're at right now get on your computer or on your phone and go to e3 and check out to see what studios are going to be represented at e3 and see if warner brothers or nether room studios is going to be listed let's see astronaut did you see any other nrs crew tweeters no no so guys that's wb games is there okay Raiden voice actor tweeted and a, a photo. They won't bring back Creative Fighter because NRS will lose money. Or okay, Nether Room is not. Everybody was mad that that didn't get a reveal. A combo breaker. Well, Ed Boon shot that down. Somebody was like, "Are we gonna see something from Mortal Kombat 11 combo breaker?" Nope. That's exactly what Ed Boon said. Beast. Thank you, Beast. I appreciate that. Chocolate. Yeah, true, Degas. So Ed Boon shot down the whole combo breaker thing. He was like, "Nope." So, what if Mortal Kombat 11 could be canceled? Would be canceled? How would you react? The dude. Um. If Mortal Kombat 11 got canceled, um, I would organize a riot, and um, have everyone meet me out in front of Netherrealm Studios, um, in Chicago, Illinois, and we would um throw bricks. They they were revealing Superman game and I'm like, Rocksteady isn't there. Yet. So what in Raiden's name would they reveal <laughs> for the riot? Sign me up. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. There's no way. There's no way that there's not going to be a Mortal Kombat 11. Now there is a possibility that it might not be coming out when we think it is, 
But still and all. But I'm hoping that maybe um, Ed Boon is just being completely quiet about it just because he's trying to just, he doesn't want any leaks happening. He doesn't want any rumors happening. He doesn't want to start anything. He just wants to just make it a huge surprise. And, you know, keep in mind, I mean, something that I just remembered was, remember when back in Injustice 2, there was all that hype surrounding who the last uh, DLC character was going to be. Everybody, fig everybody knew about the Atom and everyone knew about Enchantress, but nobody knew who the very last... Uh, character was going to be and i don't know how ed boone did it but he managed to keep he managed to seal up the identity of the last dlc character and no one knew who it was there was no leaks on the internet there was nothing anywhere and then finally we all found out on what it was like november the 22nd we all found out it was the teenage mutant ninja turtles so Ed Boon does have the ability to keep things under wrap because no one knew about the turtles. No one. No one. I didn't hear any rumors. I didn't hear a leak. I didn't hear anything. I don't know how he managed to keep that quiet for so long. So anyway, so, so I'm just saying all of that to say that if Ed Boon is trying to keep Mortal Kombat 11 completely under wraps, then he knows how to do it. And we really won't have anything confirmed until E3 happens and we see it for ourselves. So, but yeah, you know, somebody asked me if I will be streaming during E3. And yes, I will definitely do some streams through, throughout E3 so we can talk about some of the game trailers and the reveals and what the producers are going to be saying. I was thinking if not E3, it could be revealed to Evo or San Diego Comic Con. Right. Because, I mean, the only thing that I can be 100% certain of with Mortal Kombat 11 is I'm pretty certain it's coming out in 2019. We can honestly say that we can, you know, we, we can really look forward to seeing it in 2019. Anything else beyond that, I honestly don't know. They should make Mortal Kombat 9 backwards compatible. Oh, hold on. Thanks, baby. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks is my favorite game. J Jelani. I hope we don't get no more guest characters. I hope they just make all MK spawn would be a badass though. Nell Jones. Nell, welcome to the stream. Yeah, twin. Yeah, chocolate, that's awesome. I know, right, Hunter? Okay, like I'm sorry, Degas, I know you asked Chocolate to be your BFF, but honestly, I think Chocolate is BFFs with like Hunter. I think they are like BFFs with one another. No, thank you for leaving the comment on my video. I read your comment for, I think it was either, was it the Fujin video? Um, I think, yeah. So, yeah, Degas, you need to keep your eye on Chocolate because he says he's your BFF, but at the same time, he's like totally like hooking up with Hunter. Like they totally have like a love fest going on. And so I just don't want anyone's feelings to get hurt while they're in my stream. Like, like, like. Chocolate, you cannot make people cry during my stream, okay? If you tell them you're going to be their BFF, you need to be their BFF, okay? Because then Degas is going to be all traumatized and he's not going to want to come back to my stream because you hurt his feelings. Okay. Uh, he's my number one MK fighter. Yes. Uh, maybe X-Men versus Mortal Kombat because Fox is winning that Disney versus Fox stuff. Hunter is his husband, I think. Ooh. I just saw a trailer. Whoop. I just saw a trailer to a new Spawn movie like last week, so he might be a guest character in McK11. Justin, that's a very good possibility. Not Degas, I ain't gay. Degas, ha ha ha, no way, bruh. So, yes, it, that's true. Well, yeah, that's possible. The Spawn movie is coming out, so we might get Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11. That would be a very good, that would be a very good choice. Spawn is the guest character I need. <laughs> Ragnaroth, I'm sorry. Need is spelled with two E's and not 59. Need is spelled with two E's and not 59 E's. Degas, you can have them. Jamie Fox is so post to play Spawn. Just shaking my head. Ray Charles. Hunter. Chocolate is cool. We are all cool, too. Like Ed from Mondo Burger said. Hello, bud. What's up, Cent I Centipede? Welcome to the stream. We are discussing all kinds of fun things relating to Mortal Kombat 11 and Ed Boon, and what will your reaction be if they reveal Devora? Well, I'm pretty sure they are going to reveal Devora, and I already have found some blunt objects to throw across the room and out outside my window. 
So I do have some blunt objects that I am prepared to throw. It's okay. Melina gonna come back more combat 11, hopefully. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure Melina is definitely gonna... We're up to 24 people in the stream, guys. Guys, welcome. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, as, this, as, as, my, as the title suggests, I want Mortal Kombat 11 now. Not later. Not in the future. I want it now. Baby, I just like divorce. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Because I don't like divorce. Divorce sucks. She killed Melina. I'm not going to go into it. I, it's trigger. It triggers me emotionally to talk about Devora. Does anyone here play Rainbow Six? I don't play it. I'm sorry, Beast. Sorry for swearing, Craig Micus. It's okay. I totally didn't catch it, Mike Craig. Um. Anyway, so but yes, guys, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming in, guys. I do want to uh, just like promote my new series. I have a new series called Mortal Kombat 11 Next Gen, and in each episode, I highlighted a new character that I. I talk about how they, they could play a role in the story mode for Mortal Kombat 11 and I give a little bio information. I've done two so far. I've done one on Katana and I did another one on Fujin. So guys, make sure you check that out. Uh, it, I have it as a, set up as a playlist on my main channel page. So guys, make sure you check that out. Baby, did I like Ferritor? No, and I hope Ferritor does not come back for Mortal Kombat 11 because I thought that was a really poor idea. It was really dumb and plus you couldn't even attack Farah, because apparently Farah is like a, a, a child, so they have Farah just running around in the background. That was so dumb. Um, something big at E3. I hope there's something big. I want Anomaly, half Baraka, half Shokan. That's weird. I hadn't even heard of. I've never even heard. I've never even heard of Anomaly. Hunter, where'd you get that from? If Nightwolf isn't in Mortal Kombat 11, hopefully we get a descendant of him. Well, Son of Ra, I only. I hope. I. I. If. If they decide to conclude the Revenant chapter, then I think all the Revenants that got left out in Mortal Kombat 10 are going to come back. I honestly believe that. I think we're going to see Nightwolf and um, uh, Cabal and Stryker and Smoke and Jade and Sindel. I think a lot of those characters are going to come back because they're still Revenants and they haven't been they haven't been restored yet. So, um, so I, I really am wanting to know. Um, and someone mentioned in the stream, like, some sort of keyword having to do with war. And honestly, I can see that being relevant for Mortal Kombat 11. How they're, you know, maybe, maybe it might not necessarily be, um, called Mortal Kombat 11. And, you know, guys, how many of you in the stream honestly think that Netherrealm is going to call the next Mortal Kombat game Mortal Kombat 11? I honestly don't think they're going to do that. I think they're gonna. I think Mortal Kombat 11 is gonna have some sort of name in the title. Like I think it's gonna be Mortal Kombat, uh, such and such war. I I think war will be in the title. I because I I honestly think there is gonna be some sort of battle. Yeah, I think some sort of battle is gonna happen in Mortal Kombat 11 between Raiden and either between Raiden and Liu Kang, or Raiden and Katana, or Raiden and the Nether Realm. I think there's gonna be some kind of battle or some kind of war that's gonna happen. Because even in Raiden's ending, it showed it showed Raiden charging after the other realms and fighting them. I think even, I think it, like I think it showed him like kind of fighting Kotal Kahn. So honestly, I do think that Mortal Kombat 11 will have something to do with war, war battle, something like that. War of the realms, yeah, something like that. Um, now, as far Ed, Ed said something about Thursday. Wait, Thursday last Thursday, maybe Mortal Kombat 11 teased. Yes, Degas, we are on the same page. War of Realm sounds sick. Yeah, I mean, there, you know, it sounds like something. And plus, you know, I'm sorry, but Katana, Katana's character was just way too amped up. Did y'all notice, like, how amped up Katana was? Like, in Mortal Kombat 11, K Katana was mad as hell. I mean, in almost every single, I mean, she wasn't nice to not one person in any of the intros. I mean, you know how, like, for some of the characters, you know, some of the characters had some joking things to say that were kind of playful or whatever. Katana was not nice to anybody. She just basically said, I mean, she said exactly how she felt. She let everybody have it. So, Katana, I, Katana, something's going on with Katana. Katana is, like, I've been, I said it, I've said it in my Katana video. Um, Katana, I feel like Katana is going to turn out to either be a, a, um, a, like a, a sub boss. I think Katana's gonna turn out to be the sub boss, or she's gonna turn out to be the main boss. But one way or the other, Katana is gonna, she's gonna do something in Mortal Kombat 11 that I think might end up kind of shocking people. 
you know, um, I think I think Katana is gonna do something that everyone's gonna kind of gonna like be like, what? She's you know, cause she's I mean, Mortal Kombat 11, she was I mean, Mortal Kombat 10, she was just like, she was just mad. Do you think her and Jade will team up? Well, Frumble, we first of all we need to figure out what the heck happened to Jade. I I hope they let Johnny and Sonya sit this one out. No, honestly, in my past streams, I've said that honestly, I think the reason why um, I think. Sonya and Johnny are going to sit out because Cassie Cage, I think, is going to have a variation where basically you can play as both Sonya and Johnny with, with Cassie Cage. She has both the moves of her mother and her father. And I think Netherrealm likes to combine character moves like they did in Mortal Kombat 10 as a way to leave out characters because they gave Jade, they gave Katana Jade's weapons and they let Jade sit out. And then they gave Alien Baraka's, Baraka's fighting variation and they let Baraka sit out. So I think Cassie Cage is going to have her mother and her father's variations, and Johnny and Sonya are going to sit out. Yeah, you're right. I forgot. Kung Lao has to return. He's an OG character. Son of Ra. No. Anyways, so yes, that's what I'm thinking. If so, it's going to suck not having Johnny. He is a legend. Mortal Kombat Elder Wars. Ooh, that's interesting. Elder Wars. Chocolate Ice. Bring back Shang Tsung. Yeah, you know, honestly, I would like to see Shang Tsung come back. Yeah, Sonya needs to sit it out. Yeah, all characters, I mean, don't get me wrong. Johnny Cage probably had the best intro comments. Like, I love, I love Johnny's intro comments. But honestly, he can sit down. He can sit down. Sonya can sit down. Uh, what's her name? Devora can just get killed and never come back. Uh, Kotal Kahn, uh... I know I'm. I know Kotal Kahn's gonna come back since he's the Emperor of, of Nether of of, uh, of Outworld, so I won't say anything. Ferator can sit down. Um, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Wars, or War of All Wars. Justin, are you trying to start war? Wah, wah, wah. Um, yeah. So I am. Um, uh Kano, you know, I'm I wasn't too I'm not a big Kano fan to me like Kano can sit down. Kung Jin Kung Jin um I really kind of was disappointed with his whole outfit and his whole gameplay style was a little I mean, uh I hate to say it but he can kind of sit down. Oh, I hate that bug. She's a waste of slot of <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but, you know, I do think, uh, I really hope, okay, Mortal Kombat 10 had, like, eight new characters. So, I'm really curious how many new characters we're going to get in Mortal Kombat 11. Um, a part of me actually doesn't want to see a lot of new characters because that would mean that they would bring back a lot of old characters. Um, and plus, I mean, you know, they already have, like, but what's weird is, um... Every time Boo tweets, I get chills. <laughs> Hopefully, Mortal Kombat 11 has four. Um, but you know what's weird is that they in, they introduced Scarlet, who is a brand new character that they brought out in Mortal Kombat 9, and then to completely dropped her. My favorite pastime is watching all fatalities on Devor. <laughs> we'll know something in six to nine days, dude. Psychopathic Ninja Crew, welcome to the stream, Psychopathic. Hunter Zolom in Mortal Kombat A11. Hope hope is gone. Justin, should they just add spawn? I'd love for them to add spawn, but for some reason I don't know why they they created they created Scarlet, and they added her to the roster for Mortal Kombat 11. I mean, yeah, Mortal Kombat 9. Sorry, and then completely forgot about her. It was based off an old rumor though. She sort of existed. Yeah, yeah, Ragaroth. Yes, it was it was based off of a and an, an, a red version of Katana that was a glitch. I think she needs to come back though. So for some reason Scarlet, I don't know why they would take the time to put her in the game and then just ditch her for Mortal Kombat 10. I hope we get Scarlet and maybe a DC story. Hmm. She had a unique playstyle too. Um, Frumblefoot, would you believe I still have not found Goku? I honestly think Goku has run away. Scarlet was an interesting character based on blood. It was different. Yeah. You know, and I was watching some footage of she did come in second in that poll and was in the... Frumblefoot, I'm so serious. I honestly think it's like like, I mean, I really should never have eaten him. Like, I should not have turned him into that cupcake. I think that just hurt his feelings. Anyways, um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, he's hiding something. Yeah, he, he really is. I don't know what has happened. Um, so guys, yeah, I'm, so 
uh, I really, um, I really, you know, a lot of this, a lot of what's going on with the Mortal Kombat 11, I don't know. What, when do you think we'll get a trailer? Well, Centipede, we, um, I think maybe before you got in the stream, we were talking about how nothing has been confirmed and, and E3 is around the corner, is happening next week. So we really don't know if we're going to get the trailer or not at E3. All we need now is a white ninja with wind powers, Fujin Sun, or da 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 da. Yeah, um, somebody just mentioned earlier in the stream how they we need an orange ninja too. Although, it seemed like, well, well, um, Ermac is red, so I guess we do need an orange ninja. Although, it, w it would be really cool to see, uh, it would be cool to see a chameleon come back and be playable again. Because, with, you know, in 4K graphics, chameleon would be an awesome character to use because he would have, like, the fact that he changes colors, that would look awesome visually. So Chameleon would be an awesome character to have in Mortal Kombat 11. Just to see how he would be able to change colors and kind of shift throughout the characters. Um, you know, and what's really... One thing I really miss is that, honestly, I would like for them to bring back Shang Tsung and allow him to have his shape-shifting. Um, allow him to do the shape-shifting thing, thing again. Like, in 4K, that would look amazing. Like, 4K to allow... Um, to allow, uh, to allow Shang Tsung to change into different characters in 4K, that would be really awesome. But Chocolate, are you, you are a noob. Bring back noob. Let's see. Can you imagine if NRS remake Armageddon every Friday come back and have X-rays and very No, that would be an awesome idea. Bring back mocap. No, that would be really cool if they did a remake of Armageddon. I hope they keep Jade with her African American appearance, especially likely. Let's see. No, uh. Ch Chiera, welcome to the stream. I don't know if I said your name correctly. Nah, Hunter, you're new. Degas, thank you. Bring back Kai from Wakanda. Um, yes. So, all right, guys. I've been going for close to forty minutes now. Um, they made Jade White in the mobile game. Well, you know, I've noticed Jade. Jade was supposed to have a really deep tan, and but it does seem like they, Jade is kind of turning into like more. She's looking less. I don't know if they ever intended Jay to be of African descent per se. I think uh, I think Jackie Briggs is really the first African American chick in the in the Mortal Kombat series. I always thought Jade was very tan. Cause like in Mortal Kombat Two, Jade was like just she was a super super dark tan version of Katana. That's all she was. She didn't necessarily have any like African American features or anything. Blaze make a comeback, Justin. That would be a great idea. Um, Although in the new timeline, they'd have to come up with a, you know, Blaze was connected to Dag Dagon and um, and Taven, so they'd have to, so they'd have to find a way to reintroduce Blaze with Dagon and Taven into the new storyline. So Jade and Tanya and Jade, her bio said black. Hmm. Blaze or Anaga. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream, guys. Thank you for joining tonight. We have up to 19 visitors and viewers. Thank you so much. Guys, make sure you, um, make sure you check, out my, um, check, check out my new series, Mortal Kombat 11, uh, Next Gen. I'm, I've done Katana and I've done uh, Fujin. I'm highlighting individual characters and I'm talking about what their possible role could be in Mortal Kombat 11. And I'm also giving some bio into what they are going to be uh, or, what, or how, you know, what kind of role they've played in the past. So, Pomfu, Pomfu. Degas, how dare you say Pomfu? I'm so offended. All right, guys. Yes, thanks, guys. Thank you. I appreciate the support, guys. And um, I'll see you guys in the next stream. Astronaut out.